I recently came across a tweet saying that 2016 is the best year for anime ever. And well, I felt like this would be a good topic to talk about on a video, mainly because I disagree. No offense to stand user, of course, and I would be glad to see what your response to this video would be if you actually see this. Now, I am not someone to say that modern anime is automatically bad, or that retro is always good, because really, there are a lot of good and bad anime at any time period. It's just most of the old bad anime have been forgotten while things like Astro Core and 100 are at least somewhat well known because of how recent they are. I mean, have you seen Koi Koi 7? Will you declare Koi Koi? Koi Koi! Well, me neither, and it doesn't look like we're missing much. But instead of talking about bad anime, let's talk about good anime, and more than that, great anime. If we're going to compare the quality of anime across time periods, I think these are the ones that should be talked about. Looking at the past winter, there really wasn't anything all that great. Sure, Dimension W was a cool action sci-fi show, but there really were too many logical leaps to give it too much praise. Andy Race was quite thrilling at times, and my favorite of the season, but the whole time skip thing really messed with what the show had going for it, and I'm not someone who will say that it had no problems before that happened. And then there's Sushi Police, which, yeah, that was fun and different. But I find it hard to believe that a short like this could be enough to lift the year into the greatest of all time. And then pretty much everything else from Winter that was notable is incomplete. Grimgar and Konosuba were good takes on the video game genre, but are nowhere near complete. And then there's also Showa, which, while well respected, I didn't really care for, and more importantly for this topic, it's not finished. And no, I'm not just complaining about everything is incomplete, even though I kinda am, but for me to consider a show really something special, it needs to actually finish its story. Sure, some of these we may or will get a second season of, but until then we're just left hanging, and some of these it wouldn't surprise me if we never do. Which does disappoint me some. There are some notable shows that continue from last year, like Dorara and Haikyuu, which I admit I haven't seen, but let's assume for the sake of argument that these are both great and amazing, which they actually might be. But again, Haikyuu is incomplete, then that only leaves Dorara, which sure, if benefit of the doubt, I'll give it for now, and say, okay, we have one great show for this year so far. And yeah, that's not that many. But yes, this is only one season, and it would be unwise to judge a year as a whole based off a single season. But that also applies to saying the year is great when we've only seen all of winter. As of writing the script and making the video, we are about three to four weeks in the spring season, and if you watch my first impressions video, you'll know that I'm enjoying a lot of the anime coming out. But it's also impossible to judge a show by just the first few episodes. For example, I love Black Bullet's start, but that ended up falling apart, something similar with Ben Hilder in the Darkness, and Rambo Keaton, and really a lot of others. And even this season, we've had a lot of shows go downhill already. Carbonari had a fantastic first episode, but it's become much more lackluster since then with annoying characters and concepts we've seen a hundred times before. Now, I'm not saying that this year is bad, because it's not. Not even close. But we are far too early in the year to say it's anything great, much less the best devil. Because so far, there really isn't anything this year that I think matches the greatness of the past. 2015 had Parasite, one of the best action suspense shows I've seen in a while. 2013 and 14 had Kill a Kill, which is the most fun show I've ever seen, and while I might like it more than others do, it's over the top action in its finest form. Then back in 2012 and 13, we had Shitsekai Iori, which is a suspense show that offers a fascinating look at humanity. Then in 2011, we had Madoka, Steinsgate, Penguin Drum, Fate Zero. So yes, there might be some decent shows that are coming out this year, but nothing I find lives up to the greatness of these. And now it is true that people's tastes could differ, and it is possible that you could think that Konosuba is more fun than Kill a Kill, or that Dimension W is the better science fiction than Steins Gate, and I am not one to bash people for having different preferences than me. But I would ask you to consider that maybe the reason you think this year is so great is because you have not had the chance to experience some of the classics of the medium. 2006 seems to be held as the best year for anime according to veterans of the media. So if you haven't, look at the anime that aired then. You have things like Agro Proxy, Haruhi, Oran, Noin, Higurashi, Black Lagoon, Welcome to the NHK, Helsing Ultimate, Death Note, and Code Geass. And while I have not seen all 10 of these shows, the ones I have offer something really worthwhile, and the ones I haven't are pretty much universally liked. So, as I said before, when judging time periods in anime, I like looking at the greatest shows from each time. So, are there 10 shows from 2016 that are better than the 10 I listed for 2006? Now, we're so early in 2016, so maybe there would be a ton of really awesome shows, but as things are going right now, this year can't really compete. But, what do you think? Do you think I'm wrong about 2016 not being the greatest year for anime ever? And using the standard I came up with, what do you think the best year is? Is there a year where the 12 best anime from that year are better than the 10 best I listed for 2006? Let me know. I'm sure there are a lot of great anime that I haven't seen yet, so maybe this could point me to even more of them. Now, if only I had time to watch them along with everything else I'm trying to watch this season, which, yeah, that's not going well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Twitter if you really want to, and I will talk to you next time.